ladies and gentlemen, I'm ET69. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, March is here. March is here. And of course, we all know by now, because it's been going on for well over uh, a year, um, what does the first of the month bring? Of course, it is a new Battle Pass tank. So today's video, we are going to look at the new Chinese tank destroyer um, in tier 6, known as the Pan Long. Um, basically, it is the WZ-131GFT. You can see there, looks fantastic. I mean, looks pretty similar if i'm honest there uh, but what is the tank like and of course is the tank worth trying to uh, to get uh, well is the tank worth getting the battle pass for so as you can see it has no armor whatsoever 35 millimeters of armor which is basically nothing um damage per minute is 2591 now if we look at the wz uh, compared the DPM a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more than this tank. So uh, you got what a 280 alpha there. So yeah, a little, little bit more. Not too much, but just just a little little bit. But 2,591 is decent. I mean, it's no um, cryos at 3,000, but it is pretty decent for its tier. So penetration is 181 on your AP, 241 on your APCR, and 50 on your HE. You've got a 280 alpha gun on your AP, 240 on your APCR, and 350 on your HE. Aim time is pretty solid at 2.7. So is the gun dispersion at 0 0.290. Does, however, only have 5 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 43 kilometers per hour. So, I mean, looks pretty solid. The stats actually look pretty uh, solid on the tank. Um, obviously, you've got no armor. Now, we are actually going to play this uh, live. So, I do apologize if i do noob out um i'm not very good at live usually i completely noob out but uh let's just see how it goes so you've got good dpm good uh Decent penetration, at least on your APCR. Uh, your speed is okay. Yeah, aim time, dispersion, absolutely brilliant on, on both of those. But you have no armor. So, of course, if you've got no armor, you're not going to play it front line. Oh, my God. What are these guys doing? What are you doing? So, an enemy are capping base B. So, I'm just going to sit behind my two guys here. I don't want to go too far forward because they have got two mediums. And they have got a, um, a light tank. So uh, let's just see. The T14 hasn't um, opened really anything yet. Now, uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. So th there's the team there. So there's the team there. I don't really want to play this front line because they've got three tank destroyers. If I get spotted, I am literally... Ah, hello. Ah. Uh, he ha he actually scared me, but these guys are now going to both penetrate me. I'm going to get ripped apart from this stug. Um, I've got no gun depression, and I've got absolutely no gun depression. This guy's coming behind me, and I might as well just give up, because what did I say? What, what did I say? Do not YOLO. Do not ever YOLO in this tank, because you're just going to get absolutely torn apart. And this is why you don't YOLO. This is why you don't go with your team. I mean, I was going with my team until they decided to go a different way. No idea why they decided to go a different way, but they decided to go a different way. But as I always say with a battle like this, I like a battle like this, especially when I'm recording and especially when I'm trying to show you guys because it actually shows, I'm trying to make excuses here, okay? Um, but it actually shows how not to play this tank because if you do decide to YOLO this is what's going to happen to you so I, I like to show that I do like to show that when I am playing uh, a new tank and uh, yes it's got DPM yes it's got a little bit of speed doesn't feel um, that quick if I'm honest but it feels okay um, but yeah that is this is what is going to happen to you if you decide to play this tank like this look at the SU dude what are you doing go for the SU um, but there's still a little bit of hope. There is a little bit of hope. But this Object 244, I think, is going to get torn apart. This U-Panzer and the Jackson hopefully take care of that guy, which they do. 
and that free wind over there. So do you know what? We, we could potentially win this game, and I think we are going to win this game. Um, and that's, you know, that's thanks to me, because I, I did nothing except for take the whole team's attention. YOLO on my own and get absolutely ripped apart. Uh, but I did that in, with good intentions, you know? I did that so my team but could uh, just reap the rewards, as uh, as they say. So, before you know it, it is now a four versus two. So, you know, the guys did okay. The, the guys did not too bad. They bought it back, and uh, they, they carried me. But you know what? The next game is going to be uh, just a little bit... I'm not going to say it's going to be massive better, uh, but I'm going to try and play it a little bit different, um, and how you really should play the tank. Now, how you... Sh the only thing with me was... How you should play a tank does kind of get very boring. All depends on what the enemy give you, um, because this tank is really made to sit behind your team. It's made to sort of, you've got the accuracy, you've got the aim time, so it is basically made to sit at the back of the map and farm a little bit. And then maybe later on in the game, you can then use that little bit of mobility and then run around the map to pick up some more damage. But this one, again, this is going to be very, very difficult. They've got two cryoses, for God's sake. Two cryoses. And it's not really a map where I can just sit at the back and farm. Uh, but, you know, let's just see how it goes i'm not going to push forward so you know what i'm going to go to the right side i don't really want to go to the left side because there's nowhere really for me to to camp there is that building which i can hide behind uh, but i'm going to go with the majority of my team just like i said the last game and then they decided to uh, to turn away but uh, i never really go in this position if i'm honest if i'm in a tank destroyer uh, i usually go to the left side but you know trying something new for a change let's see what we can do now of course i really want to go for those uh, cryoses because they are very very dangerous now this is why i don't like sitting at the back of the map because i hate just sitting here watching my team die and then me not able to do anything about it that m6 is just going to die and there's literally nothing i can do because i have no shots whatsoever unless these guys start to push forward but at the moment they are not really doing so there we go we've got the med j pushing forward uh and he's now hopefully going to to die so uh, another shot there 210 i keep i move my my left hand stick my left fire button uh and i keep forgetting that it, i've moved it uh so you, you know you you play so, for so long a, a, a certain way for so long you get used to. So I'm literally pressing nothing. Uh, so what am I going to do here? I, of course, want to go for this guy. But as you can see, we're, we're going to lose. We are completely going to lose. This guy is going to push forward. Uh, I do manage to take him out. And as you can see, they are all pretty much going to, to aim at me here. There's not a lot I can do. What am I going to do right now? Literally absolutely nothing now i've got no choice uh, but to really run away because if i don't run away i'm, I'm gonna get bullied here i'm absolutely gonna get bullied now i could have actually stayed that cryos is probably gonna shoot me as i cross there's another guy there the uh the strv uh so literally the only thing i could do is, is just run away even though i'm gonna get shot from the issue no i'm not uh so i really want to get close to my guys i really want to get close but they're they're catching me and you can see the mobility isn't the best the uh, the mobility isn't the best of the uh, on this tank move out of the way i'm coming through um so yeah sadly there's not really too much we we could have done this game uh we we, we tried and of course if i'm going to freaking um just track him like that then yeah i'm not going to freaking win but uh it is going to be game over unfortunately uh, we tried our best you know if my team would have survived a little bit longer i'm not just blaming my team uh you could see the the dpm come into action now we did farm a little bit of damage very very quickly and that is what this tank can do uh, but you really need to, to sit at the back just like I was doing you really need to sit at that back and just absolutely farm because when you don't then you're just going to get absolutely ripped apart so of course as I always say yes it is worth it uh look at that double more than my my team but that is what you can do if you are farming in this tank so of course it is worth it because you get all the rewards uh with the tank or with the battle pass and this is just an added bonus so march battle pass for you guys the pan line 
strong, immortal. Uh, it is out now, so get the battle pass. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad tank. Out of 10, maybe I'd say a 5 out of 10. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an average tank. Nothing special, uh, but it's not a bad tank. Not the best battle pass tank that they've done, especially when you compare this against the uh, the Cryos there. But uh, for now, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.